then Ross, we have a Isla showdown today. Uh, probably, I was going to say two of the lesser known Isla distilleries, but they're all pretty popular, all pretty famous in, in their own right. Yeah, nowadays, nowadays they're so well known. I like these showdown videos because yeah. I never, these are brands that I know, distilleries that I know, that maybe I haven't had their core expressions neat in, in, in mm. a while. Um, you know I'm not a big PT whiskey fan, yep. so this is going to be really interesting. Bowmore is probably my favourite distillery on the island. Um, I've had lots of expressions from them, officially and independently. Yep. Um, but again, the 12-year-old, it's in every bar. I've not had it in a long time. Yeah, I think I, before doing this, I was like, I like both these whiskeys, mm -hmm. but it's been years since I've tried them. And Kalila 12, it's just, I've never had a bad Kalila. I yeah. think that's what it's got going for it. Um, the distiller itself is pretty much a, a workhorse. Yeah, in Diageo. absolutely. It's, it's basically what makes Johnny Walker Black smoky. Yeah, one of those basically. one of those corners yeah. of Johnny Walker, making six odd million liters yeah. a year as a capacity. Quite interesting because these probably are the two extremes in terms of their approach are quite different. But more mm. still have some four maltings. Yeah, they're the oldest distillery on the island, so I think they're quite protective of that and what they the way they do things. Where of course it's Beam Suntory and. Diageo, yeah. and Diageo have invested so much into Kalila recently, refurbing the distillery, but they've also got Lagavulin and Portel in, yeah. so they can kind of play around with what they want to do. Yeah, I think there is a lot of Kalila out there on sort of the independent bottlers oh, yeah, markets. I think any whiskey you see that's you know an unnamed Isla single malt, a lot of the chances time, yeah, are it's be yeah, Kalila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've had some unpeated Kalila before as well. Mm, was that the Stitchell Yeah, reserve? the special release, which was, like, um, yeah. which I thought was delicious, mm. obviously. <laughs> um, but generally, I like Bomore because it's a bit more subtle. It's easier mm. for me to get into. Um, I've never visited Kalila, but I have visited Bomore. Okay. And it was the best hospitality I've yeah, ever had at a distillery. It's a stunning location. You, you've been as well, right? Yes. To, to yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. so um, I think I remember yeah, going down to the harbour. It was early in the morning getting invited in, it was just after the pandemic, and they were just so happy to have us. Mm. And it was, you know, have you had the 18 before? Yeah. No, I'll have this. Have you had the 25 before? Yes, have one anyway. Yeah. That was the hospitality we got. Yeah. It I was think it's, so it's welcoming. Great. I think particularly with these bigger companies, yeah. I think if they're, you know, if, you know, not trying to blow our own trumpet, but mm. if they sort of know, if they like you, yeah. and they sort of know that you're in the industry or whatever, they can be very, very generous. 100%. Uh, I remember being quite sort of disappointed at the Bowmore Day during Fish, the okay. Isla Festival. They're charging me five quid for a dram of Bowmore 12. I've yeah. got so much stuff here. Yeah. All these people have come all the way to Ireland to, you know, visit this distillery and yeah. you're charging them a fiver for... Yeah, a I, I, I've not been over for the dram. festival yet, but I know that... I think I'm going this year and I know that I'm excited for whatever they're going to release, yeah. whereas this has always been a bit more challenging for me Quite an oily spirit, Kalila, as well. Ashy, as well. Was, is that a medium, a... Pete? Would you call that a medium? Light to medium? Probably say comfortably medium, yeah. I think. Yeah, it's not as aggressive and full-on as, as your Lagavulin's or your Ardbeg's or yeah. Freud's, but it's, it's you know, undeniably smoky. Yeah. Two 12-year-olds that are reasonably affordable, probably both about the £40 mark. Yeah. Um, and certainly here in Scotland, stuff that you can get your hands on quite easily. Yeah. Um, for core range bottlings, it'd be interesting to hear... Let us know uh, in the comments what your favourite kind of Isla distillery yeah. core range is. But Bowmore, I think, will be mine. Yeah, I think both of these are good Lag bang, bang yeah. for your buck. I think Lagavulin 16 is the, the popular choice for kind of it's core a range. big jump up in price. Isn't though. it? Isn't it? Yeah. You know, especially in the last year or so, the demands went right up. Um, so let's have a little look. I like the way both of the bottles look as well. Mm. I'm taking all the foil off of that. Love that. <laughs> I wonder if synchronised bottle opening is an Olympic sport. Maybe. <laughs> we could we train the, it. the UK entry. Well, we do, we do open a lot of bottles of whiskey, Lottie. <laughs> uh, let's start with the bow more. Sure. I think it makes more sense. Um, gonna be a bit We're lighter. expecting this to be probably less PPM, mm -hmm. in terms of less sort of raw smokiness, yeah. and generally more sort of rounded. Yeah. I feel it's quite a bit of a heavier spirit. Yeah, 12 year old's definitely a vatting of, of American oak and European oak. Okay. So it should be fairly balanced and bottled at, I would assume, 40%. Yeah, 40%. Mm. So should be easy drinking as well. Yeah. The nose, honestly, you don't get much peat at all for me. Um, it, there's lots of kind of floral notes, some maybe slightly honeyed notes as well. 
I can you can tell why I like this. Yeah. Because it is really subtle. Bowmore is always so well integrated. Mm -hmm. I think. I think you can tell Bowmore straight away from from the nose. Yeah. Um, I think I'd struggle to maybe tell, you know, something like a Port Charlotte from a Kalila or yeah. You know, um, maybe even Ardbeg and Lafroy. Sometimes you struggle to tell them apart blind. Yeah. But there's almost a kind of freshness mm. uh, on the nose for Bowmore, which is not something I associate with Isla Distilleries. Um, their official notes. They're, they're telling me subtle lemon and heather honey. I love the optimism of the market department. Uh, it is separately uh, fresh. Yeah. On the palate? I like it. Yeah, is um, there, is, is it still... There is that freshness there, and it's... I don't know, for me, Beaumont is a great peated whiskey that is obviously peated, but it's a nice gateway for those who don't really like that yeah. smoky ashtray. That's a lovely entry yeah. into peated whiskey. Very kind of soft mellowed finish as well yeah. like really approachable rounded and at 40 percent an easy drinker too yeah um kalila let's uh, have a little have a little nose see what yeah we think. i'm impressed by the bomber actually i know a lot of people uh, yeah. slag off the oh, you know it's watered down too much it's all yeah caramel coloring and stuff but that's it's a decent dram yeah um i, I particularly normally kind of lean towards bomber and bourbon mm. whereas i think but i think the sherried expressions they do like the 15 are incredibly popular mm. Whereas Kalila, I think I had the 18 and the 25 as well, maybe slightly more consistent in their kind of core range. They all have that distillery you know, DNA. Both are really good. Yeah. Um, I think... What do you think of the nose of the Kalila? It's a bit thinner. Um, it's a little bit more sort of ashy. It's maybe like a slightly mm -hmm. dirtier smoke. Than I would agree. Totally more. agree. Um, but really nice. Like, I feel like I've had Kalila in so many forms. As we say, it's, it's very available to cask brokers. There's a lot of indie bottlers who have experiments with different cast types and different aging um but it's always seven or eight plus out yeah. of ten i just think it's a really really good spirit yeah it is it's definitely a heavier peat but it's so easy drinking is this 40 percent as well uh, 43 so oh, it's a little bit more, more. A little more generous <laughs> very easy drinking and and some sweetness on the palate yeah. as well actually um i think they're both better than i they're remember both really good i think it's interesting that both work so well in bourbon and also in sherry as yeah well. I think both really good entries into peated whiskey. Kalila, of course, is a little bit heavier, mm. but the nose is quite light. And actually, I would, I didn't think, I, I think I was like, if you're getting into Isla whiskey or peated whiskey, Talisker 10, which we've done a video with, yeah. and Bowmore 12 seems a very natural kind of entry into peated mm. whiskey, maybe even Highland Park, because it's, a, it's mm. so light. But I, don't, I think if you're feeling brave and you're a whiskey drinker, that's not a bad first Isla whiskey as well, mm. um, even though it's a little bit heavier. Yeah, I think I like Bowmore because it is very distinct. Mm. Um, yeah, I think if I had to choose between the two, Ooh. I'd be really torn. I think maybe Bowmore. Wow. Both are very, very good. Yeah, the Kalila has really impressed me. I like it more, way more than I remember enjoying it. Mm. But I am biased to Bowmore. It is my favourite peated distillery. Yeah. So the 12 year old uh, takes the win for me too. It's, it's my kind of preference. I think it's, you can. The thing I like about it is that you can taste the distillery DNA. Yeah. And I think having which tried... Which you can't say for a lot of no. bigger company no. distilleries. No. I think it's really something special. And I think that distillery DNA is present in some of the, you know, spectacular bottlings. Yeah. Or in sherry or really well-aged, whatever. So, so I think tasting that, it reminds me of these, you know, stunning drams. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so... Really interesting yeah. to revisit both of those bottles. Four more edges it for me. Yeah. I but it's I both... Excellent. Uh, I feel like if we did this tomorrow, yeah. our opinions might switch. Uh, I'm way more, I'm so impressed by both of them. Both were edges it for me, but I was already biased. But what a pleasure to try yeah, and Yeah, really good. Side. I think those watching along at home, if they have a yeah. favourite, if they rate them both, we're yeah. keen to hear. Let, let us opinions. know about your, your favourite Core Range Isla distillery and then let us know what you think of Bowmore and Kalila. Um, you know, it's interesting for us to see yeah. what other people are thinking. We like to be told we're wrong as well, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we don't, we hate it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more bevy content. We want to hear what you think, your best whiskey experiences, the whiskies you want us to try. It's a really exciting journey we're on, so make sure to join us. Download the Bevy app on Google Play and App Store to keep track of your whiskey journey, connect with your whiskey friends, keep track of your favorites, anything you could ever want to do with whiskey in place. It's the definitive whiskey companion.